Hello everybody, this is the last video in my series for Mental Health Awareness Month. Today I will be talking about ADHD. If you haven't already seen the other videos in this series, in which I talk about depression, anxiety and autism, I highly recommend you watch them in the playlist in the description below. Back to this video, I want to structure it in a simple way, so that it's easy to follow. Firstly, I'm going to talk briefly about what ADHD is, and what causes it. Next, I'm going to talk about whether ADHD is a disorder, and the possible negative connotations of this kind of terminology. After this, I'm going to talk about what you as an individual can do if you think you have ADHD, or if somebody close to you has it. And finally, I'm going to talk about some of the treatments usually offered for depression. Now, before we begin, please, if you haven't already, like this video and subscribe with the bell icon on so that you can get notifications for any new uploads. Firstly, what is ADHD and what causes it? ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. People with ADHD tend to have poor concentration, which is the attention deficit bit, and are more likely to make decisions without thinking, which is the hyperactive bit. So, for example, somebody with ADHD might seem absent-minded. They will get distracted easily and struggle to organise things like time and homework. This is the attention deficit bit. They might also be restless, unable to sit and wait their turn and instead jumping the gun, rushing through things. This is the hyperactive bit. However, it is important to note that ADHD varies from person to person. So, for example, somebody might only have the hyperactive bit but not the lack of attention bit. It varies from person to person. ADHD is more common in boys than girls, and it is generally considered to be caused by genetics. Most people with ADHD have relatives with the condition. Now we come to the question of whether ADHD is a wholly negative condition and whether the term disorder is thus acceptable. Some experts see disorder as a negative term, when to them ADHD is not negative or positive, but simply a different way of experiencing the world. So, for example, people with ADHD are sometimes described as having a race car brain, because everything is faster. Race cars aren't supposed to be good or bad, they're just race cars. However, ADHD can have some negative effects, maybe suggesting that terminology like disorder is appropriate. For example, kids with ADHD might struggle at school because they find it harder to concentrate. The impulsive behaviour, the hyperactive bit of ADHD, might also lead to kids with, it, kids with ADHD being pushed out of friendship groups because they're thought of as, quote, weird. The sometimes inappropriate behaviour caused by the hyperactive bit of ADHD might also cause kids with it to feel guilty about their actions and contribute to low self-esteem. In the third part of this video, I want to talk about what you as an individual can do if you think you have ADHD, or if you suspect that somebody close to you has it. The first thing to do is reassure yourself, if you think you have it, that it's not your fault. The same is true if somebody close to you has it. It's not your fault or theirs. ADHD is not like a disease. It's not a bad thing. It's like being left-handed. Not you, but part of you. The best thing that you as an individual can do is talk about your feelings to your family or doctor or try to motivate the person who you think might have it to do the same. Exercising, eating well and getting enough sleep are also really helpful for good physical and mental health overall, but not specifically for ADHD. Finally, I'm going to talk about some of the treatments usually offered for ADHD. When it comes to talking to a doctor or other professional, the treatments they might recommend for ADHD include talking therapies, which is where you talk about how you feel to an expert who then gives you techniques for improving concentration and gaining more self-control. Certain medicines might also be prescribed by a doctor, which increase concentration and lower hyperactivity or impulsive thinking in the brain. Adults, like parents and teachers, can also help by breaking schoolwork up into bits. It is important also for kids with ADHD to be placed away from distractions to make them less likely to lose concentration or do something impulsive. People with ADHD also need to be given regular breaks and taught how to organise things. 
That's my explanation of ADHD. I hope you found my video interesting and have learnt something from it. Please click on the link in the description to watch more of my series on mental health. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.